a weird one for you this week, baby. That's right. We're in a new location because we've gone to the East Coast, and Meatball and I are taking over New York. In a dance room, and it's pink. That's right. And we have an amazing guest today on the show with us. Arden Marine is with us on the show. And we talk all things about interior design, clown core, and putting a scrunchie on your penis. Plus, did you know how things were at Mad TV? We didn't either until we found out today. Goodbye. Oh. M. Mom! When first choice is a big old bus, you turn around and boom, you end up with a sloppy second. Oh, Diva. Our number is 213-536-9180. Our email is sloppysecondspot at gmail.com. Now on with the show. Hi, you slap you stupid little f***ing asshole f***ing dirty little f***ing. Welcome to Sloppy Seconds with Big Dipper and Meepaw. I'm Meepaw and that's Big Dipper. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. And if you've noticed, something has changed. Within we are... me, something is not the same. Uh, it's I'm the f- through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. It's flat hair is what has flat changed. Flat hair? Well, listen, I wasn't going to travel with five wigs. That makes no sense. Yeah, you're just going to restyle and shape that one constantly? Or it'll just be the same look the whole time? No, I brought two. Okay. Uh, we're oh, here goodness. in Meatball's favorite city. New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of, you know? Yes, and we're very excited because we have a whole lineup of special guests, and we're happy to start our month in New York. This is Sloppy Seconds Takes New York, baby. Yes. Um, I'm just realizing now that your skin and that wall are the exact same color. Get into it. I'm giving camouflage. Yeah. Peach. Slay. I'm Princess Peach. Slay. <laughs> um, so are you ready? I'm absolutely ready. <clears throat> it's like it's like I'm um, Joy Behar at The View. And uh, I'm Whoopi. I don't need a man in my house. Please welcome actor, writer, comedian, podcast host, interior design enthusiast, it's Arden Marie. Hey, hey, girl. Girl. hey, girl. hey girl. Oh, hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> Can this I have the energy I need at like oh 11 God. o'clock? I don't yes. know. How are you so energetic right now? Oh, I'm a night owl, but I've had a lot of coffee and I'm excited to be here. You strike me as a perky person, but I'm scared that perky has like a negative connotation. You know how oh, like right. compliment words yes, are bad? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Sh- I know somebody last night I was wearing like a floral jumpsuit, which is like my favorite. It was You're- like my favorite outfit. And someone was like, I love that. Yeah, have you heard of clown core? And I'm like, I'm never gonna wear this. I'm literally I'm gonna f- in this, I will never wear this again. Clown like clown core. core. So I wonder if Perky is the clown core. <laughs> <laughs> Perky's Wait, the clown exactly? core personality. Like, I didn't so realize I, clown core was a thing. I kept it neutral. I kept my face neutral, uh-huh. but I was thinking how quickly I could remove it from my body and burn it. <laughs> and then I started Googling this morning, what is clown core? And I think it's like, it, it's like, Older women and very extreme colors. And yes. Like big shoulders, snatch little waist, but not in a fun, like, it's like you're thrown in the towel. Oh. You're never going to be touched again. You know what I mean? It's like colorful. <laughs> thrown it's, in the towel? You're like covered in filth. Wait, I feel as though I'm clown core. Mean, I feel what? like orange, I feel like I have some friends that are clown core too that just live with orange hair, bright colors, live I the mean, fantasy. I might be, I'm, it actually is making me rethink. Like being in New York, this because I've been in New York for the month. I'm like, this even you saying I love your wig, and you were saying it was flat hair. I'm like, everybody in New York, no, they've all flat iron their hair, middle part, <gasps> middle part. Top, uh... middle part tight, tight back, and it's like I need some hair around this face. I looked, I look like Adam Scott without, like, like you know what I mean. I was like, I need to like, <laughs> I need to fem it up. I need to fem it up. It's either that or like everybody, or when I'm fully made up, it's Willem. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's I Willem. see you more as a Katya. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take, take, take the it. Take the Katya. I'll take, I'll take Leave the, the Willem Katya. behind. I'll take <laughs> the Katya. Now, yeah. fashion, you know, is circular, secure. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Cyclical. Cyclical. The kids are wearing ballet flats again. Dude, Oof. I cannot. I can't. I need first. I'm built like a corgi dog. I'm a five foot four. How tall are you? Five nine. How tall five, are you? Okay, I bet my torso is. I'm as tall as you at the table. You are. I'm as tall as you. I'm five three. So I'm as tall as you at the table. Oh, you got a lot of top. I got a lot of top. <laughs> 
<laughs> is this thing is going right up. This onesie is going right. This clown cord is going right up. This clown cord is going right up. It's right in It's a harness, a real harness. I'm getting, I'm getting the shocker. And but I need like, so I need, I need like a lift. I need to like trick the eye. I need. I do not want a ballet flat. Don't give me a capizio. Uh-uh. Don't give me a. Papa Gallo, like. Oh, <laughs> What's the Grandma. one that you only get Grandma. custom made? Grandma. Only get custom made? The dance shoes that they only a custom made. Deluca? I Deluca. I cannot. Laduca. Laduca. <laughs> Lucy Laduca. Just, just give me a platform. Yes. Give I want a shoe. Platform. Or, you know, arch support. Anything. These kids are going to walk around with flat feet. Does this happen to you a lot when you work, like in TV and movies, TV and movie star? Yeah. Um, are they like, uh, what's the highest shoe we can get you in so that you can be like eye to eye with people? Well, I in a perfect world, yeah. But a lot of the male actors are not that tall. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first, and Tom Cruise. Then, okay, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Tom Cruise. <laughs> you way, didn't know, I, but you're short. By the way, I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with Mission Impossible. Oh, me too. Obsessed. I'm sorry. They're great movies. I'm by the sorry. Way, they're so good. He's a star. He can do no wrong. Yeah. He's our greatest actor. He runs like this. He, runs he like literally this. rode a motorcycle off of a ramp he five times. Five times. They used the first shot. He, he, he jumped out of the tallest building in the world. He's a psychopath. He hung onto the side of a plane as it was... T- He's an icon. He le- he got his stunt helicopter pilot license. I mean, he can do no wrong. He can do no wrong. wrong. Well, but Katie Holmes, big fun. mistake. Big, big, huge. huge. Why'd you leave him? Huge. <laughs> oh, no. You work on commission, <laughs> no. don't you? <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> huge. No, 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 no. Just kidding. Jk, jk, jk. So you're so, actually the same. <laughs> so I would say friendship. I would say that like um. I pray that they gave me like a lift. Sure. But they're like, no, here's a stupid little like uh like here's like the paper thing you get when you're getting your toes done. You wear as you're like, I look <laughs> I look cute in a lift. Sure. I give a girl my legs are one inch long. Give me a give me like let's just give an illusion. I want a heel. Give me a heel. Yeah. yeah. Give a girl. Like Though I don't know. Give a lady a heel, please. Give a lady a heel, please. <laughs> In LA, to me, it makes sense in LA to have a heel because you drive you. everywhere. Sure. And then you just walk in and Obviously. you don't have to. We both recently saw Beyonce. Oh, oh yeah. And walking into the concert, yes. there were a lot of very ambitious concert goers. Yeah, tell me everything. Who were like so excited for the heel in their look. Yes, for and sure. And then I saw a lot of bare feet on the oh. pavement. Oh, oh yeah. And it's like they didn't even bring a flip flop in their backpack or yeah, something. Yeah, you bring like, you a gotta flop. Think you gotta I just bring. wanted to you say, bring a flop. Beyonce's not seeing your feet when you're Beyonce's. out in the crowd. And to be honest, Beyonce is on a lemon pepper stepper for a lot of that concert. <laughs> yeah. she's because she's little, putting she's in dancing. work. Exactly. What, is she, what was she wearing? She was in just like little three inch heels for most of the show. Wow. Yeah. They're like that really shoe. strong a character. A Laduka. A character. A custom Laduka. A character shoe. But. I'm you impressed. Know Beyonce. Like, I know the she loves a character. The nice too. T strap on a nice beige <laughs> yeah. character heel. Oh my god! Six, we've got sex. Whenever I took dance lessons, like we've got a sexy. I was like, that's not sexy. That not is sexy. a. That's like a. That's like a um, Hooters thick nylon <laughs> tight going into a beige. Like my nan, like a librarian fun t- like a salsa strap. Yeah, they're so what? gross. What's so the one gross. that has the T strap? The T that's the, the, that's the character shoe. Strap, and that makes it you look yeah. even older. It's Here's my question. Mod. Okay. I'm from Chicago sure. and hot. there were a lot of very hot. There were a lot Slay. of like dan- dance stores in Chicago. Sure they were. But a lot of the <laughs> A lot of the dance stores were strangely. Have you ever been like to a retail experience on the second floor of a building sure. or one that like doesn't? <laughs> have I? I'm Clown Core. Yeah, I've been to. A, you mean like a thrift store? Yeah. Where it's like you. They're like, yeah, this is the address, but we're like Unit 3D, and you yeah. have to like buzz up, and yeah. it's like, how do? How is there a whole store up here? That's any time I ever had to go buy a jazz slipper for children's theater. Um, I was wondering why you were so diehard finding these. <laughs> Hidden gems because well, you needed a jazz slipper. I needed a jazz slipper to or play those, the cowardly the lion. Sneak, to play the cowardly lion at eight. Yeah. I yeah. actually wore Adidas the lollipop sambas. Oh, instead because I was Stop holding, bragging. I was holding Jeez. on to my masculinity and I didn't want to sure. wear one of those weird, gross. Yeah, they're gross. just gross. Like, the, <laughs> 
<laughs> that jazz slipper is like oh, it's a bag. The, it's a it's not even it's it's not like, do anything. It's like, it's like, it is. It <laughs> might like, as well be in a sock. It's bad. It's like a Peter Pan. It's like an elf. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'm gonna give up before I even hit puberty. <laughs> Let's just call the game now. Yeah. I'm going to put myself in this, like, like a sandwich baggie, uh -huh. but with, like, some, like, like you know, like an opaque sandwich baggie. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what it <laughs> is. With a nice rubber toe. Yeah. A sandwich. Yeah. They won't, the kids won't make fun of me in Wait, this. Wait, so we're, you, we're talking very extensively about our dance history and past. Sure. But when did you, were you ever, like, a dancer? Or I like, wish. Okay. I, we had... I grew up in Little Compton, Rhode Island, um, and there was no, I mean, it was like there's no stoplights, but there was a woman with a thick Rhode Island accent, Mrs. DeMello, who taught tap and ballet in the basement of the Catholic Church, and she would go, one, two, three, foa, get your bummies on the floor. And it was like, <laughs> she was a star, she was an icon, I just did it to get my hands on the little trashy outfits that they would wear. Trashy. Oh, oh the they out were. So, Slutting up the kids. Oh, <laughs> Bloody, oh, are you kidding me? I was like sexy Moulin Rouge girl, like five, like at the can can, like ugh, like horny shepherd girl, like that's all I wanted. I was like in my brother's hand me downs, and I'm like, give me some razzle dazzle, honey. And I love that, Mrs. But Demello. We just talked about this. Those dance costumes, because you saw mine ugh. when it was pictures with it was I was the one male dancer, and then sure. it was all girls. They were all in like bras and panties, Ooh. and I was like, we're. 13 in these images. Like, oh. how wild. Oh, it was the only, like, racy thing in Rhode Island. It was, like, that catalog, <laughs> not cheap, not cheap. No. Really, I'm like, I, w I would have loved to be, like, a toddler in Tiara. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> I love that you have that on wow. the ready. Oh, well, you his, texted uh, it to me. Is his, <laughs> this is his go-to. <laughs> it's my wallpaper. <laughs> this is his the other bank. day, just this, bring out a bunch of ugly bank <laughs> pictures of me. And this like, is thanks. his spank bank. <laughs> <laughs> Which one I am? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> adorable. Can I just say adorable? <laughs> yeah, it's like look, you know what? You got to just <laughs> you, know, you just got to do they're they're all wearing the hair that's popular now. Slick, no hair, tight little bun. Nobody's going to ballet class or just oh. going to brunch. I I need hair. I saw a TikTok they're vaselining their hair down. I cannot. So wild. It's so gross. I look. <laughs> We all do the best we can. You know, you got to work day. with what you got. We were saying this earlier. I think half the battle in life, I feel like every day I wake up and I'm like, ah! You're like, this again? I'm like, oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck! I didn't get a business degree? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, oh So then God. you get out and then you're like, you know what, bitch? Get it together. Put on an outfit. Get your hair. Like, just try. Just put on your best outfit and get out of the house. Yeah. You know what my best outfit is not? Vaseline, slick back, tight <laughs> bun, no hair. I mean, it's not. It's it's hard. It's too it's hard. hard. Yeah. I don't look good without hair. I feel the same. Like, <laughs> I only look good like this. Okay. <laughs> no, but when I shave my head, it yeah. makes me wild because I realize the back of my head is flat. And I b blame that on my parents for maybe not rotating me enough as a child. Flat. But the back of my head is flat. I can show you when we take the wig off. I want to see. At the end, we'll take the wig <laughs> off. Okay, and I'll show you. I, I never knew this about you. It's fully flat. And now once you see it, and my ears are tiny. Once you Adorable. see it, it'll be all you Gorgeous. Can. Wait, and so is it like Perfect. really comfortable for you to sleep on your back? Yeah. No, I sleep on my belly like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about me, though. No, Wait, I like how it. How do you sleep? I sleep. Oh, I'm a nightmare. Uh -uh. I sleep. I'm all curled up. I got like a pile on me. I need like weight. You know what I mean? I need. Do you like a weighted blanket? I can't, I've tried sleeping under them, and I get a little captured. Yeah, so okay. I need like I need like a comforter. I like to clutch things. There's a thing called a sleep crown that's like a face mask and like a weighted blade. It's like a soft little thing. I put. I've got earplugs. It's a whole situation. And do you bring Wait. this all? Because you you just said that you're spending a month in New York. Yeah. 
do you bring this all? And you're kind of bi-coastal? I'm kind of bi-coastal. Cool. Uh, and you bring the crown and everything with you? You've got one here and got one in LA. I have a travel LA. crown. Okay, a travel and crown. And it's smaller, and you can roll it up in a ball. But yeah, and my <laughs> my gentleman caller lives uh-huh. here, and I have one at his house. Smart. And um, look, um, it's like, it's hard to act all breezy. When you're dating somebody new. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell and it. you have Tell to it. act like breezy. Mm-hmm. And then eventually they see how you really are. And then eventually you travel with them and they see you at the TSA. Bro. And there's no, there's no <laughs> hiding. You know what I mean? Just like, I will never be the casual. Like, I just can throw things in a backpack and run off to Vietnam. Like, I'm not, like that's that. not. But I'm you not. have to act like that all the time. I know. Time. You're like, oh, just this. I'm like, I'm like. Diana Ross going on world tour, like with like steamer trunks of like flat eye. And I'm gonna wear the same thing. It's just gonna be a jumpsuit, real. I've got my clown core. Got clown I've got all my clown core. It's a whole bag of red noses. It's, a- it's <laughs> some curly wigs. It's got a pin and just a squirting flower. A flower, a That's squirting flower. Is. That's why it stops you at the TSA, all the liquid yeah, in your it, All the liquid in my flower. I mean, do you find it hard, I, I, when like, like when people, like really showing somebody yeah. your soft yeah, I find under. That- very it's hard. very you difficult do. because I'm a psychopath. Yeah, right. I feel in, like you are too. In what way? I over prepare. I'm ready to go to the airport like the night before it's sure. time to leave. Like okay. even if the night next day is a night flight, when I go through TSA, my pockets are empty. I'm ready to just drop it and walk. Like I overthink everything. My boyfriend is just kind of like easy breezy whatever. We'll pack the day of, which gives me so much anxiety. So is mine. Right. I'm always ready to leave like an hour and a half before uh-huh. I even yeah. need to. Like I would like to relax. Me too. And then go. And he's like, I'll pack right up until it's time to go. Me too. Blows my mind. Now, I can't do you live get like that. Stressed out when you go through security. Absolutely. Me too. Okay. I freak out that they're gonna go through my bag. There's nothing in it. No, no, no. I know, but still. But you do have weirder things than most people when you're traveling for work. Yes. Some well, it started with one time I had fake titties in there and they Fine. pulled them out and just lifted them both up <laughs> at me. That's and we're like, and these are inorganic material. And I was like, oh, I think they're silicone. And he was like, yeah. yeah. Um, so he plopped them back down. Did they let you? Keep them? They let me keep them. Yeah, yeah, because I explained that it was like for to work. Me, to me, the the thing that sticks out more is about not about the travel, but the sort of the like the sleeping thing. The weird, like the real, the, the, the weird, weird stuff. Our soft and, underbelly that we don't go show people yes. at Target. And I have like, have like been alone for a really long time, yeah. and I like my routines and yes. I like my things. He likes your pills. And when <laughs> okay. <laughs> There are vitamin pills. Okay. There are supplements. Sure. Because he okay. can't we, take them unless he sees them. His kitchen counter is covered in like 50 pills. I'm bottles. tricky with things in the cupboard because I forget they're there. Okay. Like a toddler, really. Okay. If you no, put it away, like, it's invisible and Haven't gone. you heard of facial blindness? Your pill, bo- your your pill, pill blindness. bottle. Your pill blindness. I'm stuff blind. Okay. If, if I don't know that it's stored somewhere, like like I will forget that it's there. Okay. I opened. I, I had a friend visiting recently, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't know. We might have a." And I like opened a kitchen cupboard, and I was like, "Oh, I have a salad spinner and a mandolin in the kit." Like I had like all of these kitchen supplies okay. that I remember purchasing once I saw them, like an electric mixer. But I'm always like, I just have one knife, one pan, one cutting board. I think that's how people live. I think most people sort have of, stuff out. I think, or they have like the main basics that they use, and you're like, pills. oh, I do own a blender. I use my pills, you use every, your pills day. every day. Okay, look, I really, I, I really, I sometimes I feel like other people like have it down, but I can tell you from myself, <laughs> it is like, I was with one person for a long time, uh-huh. and then like. You get you, you you've shown them your weirdness. You right. know what I mean. Yeah. And then when you break, you know, I broke up during the pandemic. And you get he's like, you're, you're coming out of the pandemic. We're all weird anyway. You broke up during the pandemic. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Yo. What kind of spiral did you go through? It wasn't me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Once my gentleman caller started making miniatures, that was a sign of like, wait, what is what is, what is that? Oh no 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 no, honey, wait, miniatures no. Of miniatures of what? Like, like like took up Dungeons and Dragons like as an adult man, which is fine if you did it, but you, you got to do it the whole time through. Uh, so you know what I mean? You can't start it. As oh, an, sir. You can't start it and like little miniatures like glue. And I'm like, and then it was like a hot head. Like it was a sweet guy who didn't become like a hot, it was like a hot head miniature maker and I'm like if this is the one person I see this year I'd rather be alone I am not I cannot oh I God. cannot that is insane it wow. was a lot so I was like you know what 
I always liked him. You know, I was like, yeah. I don't want to not like. I I don't want. Uh, I don't want to dislike you. Let's just call it. Let's just call it. We had a good run. Let's just call it. But then coming out of the pandemic, and like dating, and then like having like okay, like and now I I actually met somebody I really like. We're together. I love him. And you're like, you forget that it's not just all like first kind of dates. It's like at a certain point. They see the stained sweatpants. Mm-hmm. They see like your weird routine of your your night eating or like your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. night eating. My or boyfriend me. made me stop eating in bed. That was my go to comfort sure. thing. And he was like, no more crumbs in the bed. And that's so I was like, oh, I'll lay down towels. And he was like, no I, more food in the bed. We do the towel. I'm like, get out the towels. <laughs> I'm like, I'm got a charcuterie. It's not actually a charcuterie <laughs> plate, but it's like, I don't know, like, I got a charcuterie. Exactly. Late at night. Lay down the towel. Get out the towel. That's you put out a towel. You get out. The, I, put, I had a towel this morning. For me, Perfect. get for out me, the towel. It's the oversized ham and cheese mascot costume that lives in my bedroom. Okay, great. Okay, in great. The, is it in the closet? Or no, it? it's just there because it can't fit anywhere else. So it just sits on the floor. How often in the do you wear it? I haven't worn it since I had it made. Do you need it? <laughs> when? How many years ago was this? A while ago. All right. Okay. We're, we're gonna. Okay. okay. Right. The okay. Next okay. <laughs> this is what we. We'll be right back. We're gonna take break. a break. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. 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 Are you, you had a chance to see Wicked while you're here? I've seen. <laughs> See, the I new, finally, the I know it's new, but I finally had a musical. chance to see Wicked. I did. I, I did have a chance to see Wicked. And you, what are your thoughts on the second act? Well, thank you for asking. I I saw it a minute ago. I hate okay, to say, okay. and I felt like when I saw it, it felt a little dusty. It felt dusty. There it it is. felt like I felt like I wanted. I was like, okay, we're defying gravity. Here we go. Like, uh, I'm like, you were like zzz, the cherry picker. Zzz. I'm like. It is 20, let's just even say 2019. Okay. For like the sake of, oh, wow. you know what I mean? Like, you still haven't figured out how to like lift that bitch up faster. Like, get a rig on and pull why, her up. Why can't they make those updates? Like, it feels it's, I think dusty. it's because of the contracts. Like, it's like the original, it's the original production. play. It's going to stay the exact same way. But I even said that about the projections. I went and saw it like last year, and I was like, the projections are from the first year it's of this dusty. thing. It's dusty. It needs a full revamp. Every other country that's done it. Sorry, I'm getting under wicked. Time. Please. Every other country that's done it has figured out how to make it newer, and she flies over the audience and like swings she, around. I, I feel like even back in the day, they figured out how to make Peter Pan fly around. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah. just put him on a rope, like. What? Maybe oh. because maybe they didn't do a whole rigging system because it's like just one moment in the whole but show. It's, you're it's the biggest you, moment. It's and the you, end of I that. You've also made and they've had those little monkeys flying around the whole show. Oh, you're right. They've you're had right. the monkeys flying around. I'm wrong. And they've Kick made so out. much money at this point. You're like, I think we're gonna keep going for a minute. Let's update the flying. Yes. You know what was really fun, which I just saw. Really fun. I went and saw Titanic. <gasps> Drew we're going, Drogi. On, we're going on Saturday. Drew Drogi. Is so funny. Yes, but that's what so we were. So funny. Willem was great. Yeah. I mean, Drew Drogi. Okay, okay. okay. But Drew she Drew Drogi. the hilarious path. Drew Drew Drogi was so funny, and the the show was so tight. And the woman that I saw playing um, Celine. Celine was, and she was like the longest running Elphaba. I gotta tell you, she was hilarious, and I'm like. She was like a ding dong, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like ding dong, see ding. I'm like, for a musical <laughs> theater girl, I'm like, okay, honey, like you're a weirdo, and I like it. Like, oh, I love that. she was really funny. I love really funny. I love when that crossover happens with like the slapstick and like the wild, like but you wouldn't comedic it behavior. From, like, an alphabet. right? She was goofy. Yeah, in I a love way that. That's she, so cool. It was fun, like her body movements. Like it, she kind of ri- reminded me of some like Amy Sedaris body. Mo- there was a Ooh. lot of like hip. There was a little like tongue and like hip, like a little bit like Jerry Blake. Like oh yeah, my God. It, it was like some weird body movements. I hope that she's still like so free with herself because she was like it was fun to see somebody that I'm like what flavor spice is this? That's <laughs> really oh fun. I'm so you know excited. I, mean? I like, hope we get to see her too. And I felt like the show was really tight, really fun. I really I just went to see Drew and then I loved it. I, I'm really amazing. excited to see it. Yeah it was we fun. had we uh not years ago but before they like <laughs> years ago. Yeah um months a little before they turned the show into what it is now, when it yeah. was still playing in the basement, 
Marla Mandel did an interview with Alaska on our like podcast okay. network and to hear sort of like how the growth of that show yeah. happened was really incredible and now they've had all of these people come in to play Celine including Nicole Parker yep, who was on Med TV with me yes exactly and she was an alphabet and that right yes she was and that kind of crossover I think is so fun when yeah. it's like you've got the pipes and you can wail but also like yeah. you can bend over backwards and be a doofus yes 100 well it was well, somebody was telling us there that like somebody came to see them I guess when they were doing it in LA. The basement of the Gristinis? Oh no, in LA. And that they, they gave them <laughs> That's the where it used to be. Because I'm like, how do they get permission to do all of these songs? And they gave them permission. They, full permission. Yeah, apparently full Celine's permission. like producers went and watched it and were like, yeah, it's fine. We like it. You're not making fun of her. So it's great. It's great for her to get her music out there. It was so fun. <laughs> like I'm so Celine glad needs help. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> That's what they said. We they were just like, they don't care. Yeah, it was help so fun. Promote it. It was well, She's so done fun. performing, I, I think. Know, is it's she? So I think tragic. her voice is kind of clogged up. Or clogged up or but Aww. speaking about being okay. a goofball Hi. and being an actress, how often are you auditioning for like serious roles? Or you know, do they even trust you? You know what? They do. And once in a while, I book them. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, but, you know, over the years, you, you know, you kind of, depending on like what age range you're in, you go out for whatever they say. They're like, oh, it's, you're a, a blonde woman this age. I'll just support any human female part like this. Like I said, you're out for <laughs> And I'm like, there's, like, there's, there's just something that's like, I know I don't present like a district attorney. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I still have to go out and be like, you're out her. <laughs> Have you done well, any I would pres- watch that. I, I would watch you on Law and Order. You're not a can, no, any counselor. It's just like, I know that's not how I see yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I've, in the past few years, I've gotten, it's been fun. I've gotten a lot more villain parts, which is entertaining. That's fun to that's play. The fun. villain is fun. Because it's sort of like, almost like a Reese Witherspoon in election or like a real piece of shit. Like a like a pageant mom kind of like a yeah. real a real I did a dance movie thing that's not, that hasn't come out yet that's like where I'm like an Abby Lee Miller like Ooh, like it's really fun. fun so it's like so yeah I I'm good at playing so I think I'm a likable piece of <laughs> shit. I love that well, Same. I, we were. <laughs> <laughs> Blown out noise. <laughs> we were we were looking at your resume on uh-huh. the internet, which oh my is God, so quite long. extensive. <laughs> um, obviously there are a couple things that stand out, like uh, the sitcom you did with Fred Savage called Working, yeah. Mad TV, uh, these things that you did for like long periods of time. Yeah. And even I was looking at the the working dates, it was like 36, 40 episodes, something like that, but it was only two years because yeah. that was back when back sitcoms. Back when you got 20 episodes. <laughs> 20 I was episodes 21 years old. I was like 21. 21? I was 21. And that show was crazy. I was looking at clips at that in the background of that show because yeah. it took place like in a busy, was it like office. a financial firm yeah, was, or something like that? I mean, it was like, really right before The Office. Right. So it was like the multicam version of The Office. And there were like 40 background actors in every scene, right? They had mirrors. So, but we had about... <laughs> there are mirrors in here. Um, they had mirrors, but so they so it made it look bigger. That it was That's so, so crazy. That was so wild. I was just thinking about like the way. I mean, you have been working, you know, through so many phases of what television yeah, has been. It's wild. Is it wild to like walk onto like a real, you know, a real show in a real set, and there's like three people and one camera in a room, and you're like. Oh, this is different than like live studio audience or sitcom I stuff. I mean, because I haven't been like frozen in time, you gotta go with it. <laughs> sure, <laughs> but, like, of course. <laughs> but like, like it's almost like um, no, but you no, but you know what I mean. Like where like I think you you don't. It's almost like you don't even like how we all sort of evolve. You don't see right. it happening until you yeah. step back. But like like Lauren, our friend Lauren Lapp, yes, yes the like, but like we were saying how like. Um, you know, you don't realize as it's happening that, oh, there's, you know, you don't, you're like, oh, there's not going to be as many multicams. As, like, right. you just, it just sort of slowly starts. Because then it seems like, oh, that's new and cool. Like, when they started doing, like, you know, more single camera, like, oh, like The Office or, yeah. like, Party Down or something coming yes. in that was like, oh, I want to do. So then you start, like, I don't want to do, mo- I want to do, that looks kind of cool. That looks cool. And then, so it just, you just sort of go with the, 
But then Lauren and I have talked about now, like, how much, you know, because you, you kind of just keep going, but looking back, like, oh, multicams were so fun because it's uh -huh. like doing a play every week. Yeah. And, like, I really, you know, I guess as it's happening and you start to want to be like, oh, I want to do the single cam because that's kind of cool or HBO and kind of edgy, but it's like, oh, but, like, there's a certain joy and beauty to these, like, putting on a show every week and, like, it's too bad that that... We, that doesn't right. still quite happen so much. Because you would do that with Mad TV. It wouldn't air live, but you guys would shoot in front of a live studio audience, Every right? Every other week we would film, like, the... We would do the stuff that was, like, the parodies or the music videos uh -huh. or, mm -hmm. like, the... The sync, like, the more movie-type things. Yeah. And then we would do... in every, The second week we'd, we would air them, but then also film live sketches in front of people. Was that, wow. like, a hustle? Because what... what Cause how old were you? You were in your you did? 20s when you did that, Yeah. I did, what's that? Mad TV. What age were you? Oh, I was in early 30s. Early 30s, okay. It was, um, it was the hardest job I ever had. Really? Wow. Because it's sort of like all, the, it was like as hard as SNL with none of the Vanity Fair covers. <laughs> 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 but I will say I was definitely more of a mad TV Me person. Too. I was like, I like these yeah. kooky characters. But yeah, it was definitely like... Um, I'm so glad I did it. Uh -huh. The process of doing it was not easy. Yeah. Because it's like, I'd come from sitcoms and stuff where it's like, you know, you play Brian. I play <laughs> Sarah. You play Meatball. <laughs> and like, like, so we can be friends. Yeah. We're not competing, you know? And it's like, like, and we're not part of the writing staff. So like, we have no hand and it's yeah. like, yeah. so you can so be like, oh, I happens. wish I had a bigger part or whatever. Like, and... With a sketch show, and you come in, it like I was on the last four years that it was on. Right. So like it was, you know, it already been pre-existing for like nine or ten years. So yeah. like they already have all their recurring characters. So there's like three or four slots open, two of which are going to go to like a like the celebrity guest star. So mm -hmm. there's like two slots left, and then you're reading like forty sketches per week to oh. try to get like these last few slots. Oh, and it was just so competitive in a way that like. The sort of dynamics sometimes, like, you're like, oh, I think we're friends. And they're like, oh, you just fucked me over. Oh, my like, God. Yeah. Like, some, like not everybody, but there was some of that, like, really. I was like, I'd never, I didn't come from, I wasn't a groundling. I was, I didn't come from that sketch, you know. Right. Like, I'd done improv and stuff. And I'd done improv in Chicago, which I love. Yeah. And, like, but I'd never come from that, like, super competitive sketch world oh, that's crazy and it was it was hard did you feel <laughs> like I don't, it doesn't sound fun it hurt at my all feelings a lot it really hurt my feelings a lot <laughs> did you did you feel like because you had a different way of it coming up feelings people a lot. people held that against you they're like oh where did you come from i think there was a little bit like i came in not everybody i mean some people were great sure. but like i think like i came in and i was made a full cast like I, most people had to come in and they were like, like support. Yeah. yeah. So I came in and I got like all the episodes. Oh. And I think there was a little bit of like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 and, like, and, like, and then also the audience at first doesn't understand like that somebody's contract is done and they want to leave. So that the uh, audience at first is like, you're you not kicked off. You someone. kicked off Stephanie Weir. It's <laughs> like, no, I love Stephanie Weir. <laughs> she, her contract is done. Oh, so you did start playing a villain early. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but like the audience doesn't know that right. like, yeah. like it's like, no, like Stephanie's lovely. And she like, honestly, she's such a fucking doll. Yeah. It's brilliant. Brilliant yeah. writer, brilliant performer. But like, so we overlap by four episodes and we both had like, light colored hair like they don't understand it's like oh i'm not gonna God. i want to play with stephanie like right. i don't yeah. want stephanie i love stephanie and like they didn't like so it just takes a second and then eventually then you're the person that's been there a second somebody new comes and they're like so it was just, it was an interesting wow. i'd never been on anything like that yeah it was and, wow. and it it held such cultural weight in a way yeah. that it wasn't like a niche program right. it was like on a network, yeah. everyone was paying attention to it. And it wasn't just like the hardcore fan base, it was also people just kind of clicking through channels. So you were exposed to like a huge audience. Well, it was interesting. I will say, like it almost felt like going to like my comedy grad school. You know what I mean? Like, cause I'd always been like a comedic actor and I felt like 
it made me officially a comedian, you know? And that, yeah. like, oh. um, and I auditioned with, like, kind of, like, weird, you know, like, almost like Kristen Wiggy characters. Yeah. And then when I got on, um, basically, they, all the ladies would say, like, welcome to Mad TV, here's a bikini. <laughs> 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 like my first sketch was me, like for no reason, in my underwear, holding a log, talking to Fred Willard. You know, you're like, like that was just. It was on Fox, and that's what it was. I was like, so then it was learning how, like, okay, I've never thought of myself like this. This is, I oh, like my whole career, I was like a redhead, and I would play like TV on <laughs> for years. Like it was like TV on <laughs> for years. That's what, v on <laughs> that's what you put down on your resume. It's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, I was like, who would want to burn my, you know, it's so like, it's like, you know, they'd put me in like stupid cardigan sweaters with like dice earrings, like, I broke into your house, Fred Savage, you know, like, <laughs> so then like, so then like, they dyed my hair blonde, it was like, they wanted a blonde girl, and I was like, okay, and it was weird, because I never thought of my, I was like, okay, well, like, who did this before? Okay, Goldie Hawn. She was somebody back yeah. in the right. day. Like, Goldie Hawn was great. Terry Garr. Okay, great. Like, can I be funny and not be physically looking, you know, like on a crazy wig? Or, like, can I just be in a party dress and can I be funny not having to make my... Because like, oh. that's how they wanted me. <laughs>